All right, so we're done cleaning out. The water st is still uh, pressurized in the hose. Um, a couple things, you never wanna leave these hoses under pressure. They do have a tendency to bust sometimes. Um, so as soon as you're done, turn it off. Uh, but when you turn it off, you have to let the water out of the hose. What do I mean by that? So I turn the nozzle off. You can see there's still pressure inside of this hose. You've got to release it by opening it up and you'll watch the, sh the hose actually shrink. The hose will shrink back down to 25 feet. There's a lot of water uh, left in this hose as you can see coming out here. So you'll, you'll see it shrink back down to 25 feet. There it goes, just like, just like the commercials. Let it shrink, let it shrink. This is not a cheap hose, you guys. Uh, it costs about twice as much as a regular hose. So you wanna make sure you take it off of being under pressure. You can feel it, you can feel the weight in it. Uh, before I, I like to uh, be done with it, I like to unhook it here. Let me show you what I do. Because there's still a tendency that there's still some water. So let's say I'm done with the job, I'm ready to wrap it up. I'm gonna take it off here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna empty it out like this. I'm gonna lift the hose up just to make sure that everything gets out uh, where it's see, got water coming out of there. So I like to just empty the hose out before I stick it on the reel. And once again, put it on the reel, just like your uh, extension cord. You'll know if there's water in this thing because it'll be pretty heavy. Empty it out, wind it up put it through and you're ready to go. That's ready to get loaded on a vehicle. No water in there, no water dripping, uh, and you're good to go. Just remember, put the client's hose back on. And in this particular case, it'd be nice if you wound up the client's hose for them. I'm sure they would appreciate that.